two-gun upper turret mounted in the stand for disassembly. All ammunition should have been removed before the turret was taken from the plane. But it's a good idea to act as if the guns are loaded until certain checks can be made. To remove the dome, first open the elevation latch access door. Reach in and raise the lever on the elevation latch unit. Now, elevate the guns to gain access to the dome lock handle. Push the latch button to the left and turn the handle. The dome can now be lifted off and removed over the gun barrel. To remove the gun enclosure, pull out the four lock pins and raise the enclosure over the gun barrel. Now open the gas valve, raise the gun cover, and insert a screwdriver in socket C of the gun charger. Operate the charger to remove any possible live rounds. Repeat these operations on the other gun. Then close the gas valve. Remove both ammunition cans by pinching together the latch pins on each end of the can. Release the cable from the handle. Before removing the gun, the gun camera should be taken off to avoid possible damage. Starting with the overrun control, remove the two connectors and unscrew the clip holding the camera conduit to the saddle. Release the camera bracket and slide the camera off over the gun barrel. Now take off the gas hose connections at the gun chargers and release the hose clip from the saddle. Release the AM connectors at the gun chargers and remove the conduit clips from the saddle. Loosen the recoil adapter screws and raise the gun out of the bracket. With the rear of the gun supported, move the gun back, withdrawing the slider. The other gun is removed likewise. is to remove the two pole boxes and conduits. Start with the conduit guard. This is held by four bolts through the ring and a screw into each of the supports. Next, release the clips holding the interrupter conduit to the ring. Then, with the two conduit clips released from the frame, unscrew both the AN connectors at the interrupter. To remove the elevation side pull box, first detach the AN connector from the latch unit. Remove the two Selsen caps. Disconnect the AN connector from the motor and unfasten the bracket supporting the pull box. A small offset screwdriver is used to remove the two screws holding the upper bracket. The pull box and conduit can now be lifted off. To remove the azimuth side pull box, 
Begin by unbolting the limit switch and unfasten its conduit clip. Then spring the guide, releasing the contour follower sleeve, and unhook the spring. Remove the nut from the crank. Slip the plunger off and withdraw it from the sleeve. Take off the spring. and unscrew the cover from the maneuver switch. Disconnect the switch lead. Release the AN connector and pull the lead out of the switch. Now, draw the conduit through to the azimuth side of the turret and release the AN connector at the motor. Then remove the two selson caps and release the AN connector from the latch unit. Now, remove the cover from the pull box and unscrew the three screws holding the box on spacers to the support. The pull box with the conduit can now be lifted away. Remove the gas hose. Release the clips from the support and uncouple the hose connection at the bottom. Then disconnect the interrupter drive cables at the ring and at the elevation drive unit. Remove the five bolts holding the front of the chute to the ring and the six supporting screws on each side of the chute. Now start to remove the four supporting bolts at each corner of the frame. A special wrench is used to release the ammunition guides at the front corner. Remove all the bolts, leaving in two or three to support the frame. Then release the hoisting cable coil from the frame. Pull out the remaining bolts and lower the assembly from the support. Begin with the camera overrun control. Remove it by taking out the bolt holding it to the bracket. Then remove the bracket. Now at the front of the support, remove the elevation stop block. Then raise the saddle until the gears are unmeshed. Lock the saddle in this position. Remove the ammunition roller and take out the six screws holding the trunnion ring to the support. 
Insert the four screws from the camera overrun control into the threaded holes in the trunnion ring. Turn the screws one after another until the ring is withdrawn from the bearing. Use a block to support the saddle temporarily. Remove the other ring in the same way. And lift out the saddle. The azimuth side support is released from the ring by removing the 11 bolts which secure it to the ring. With the last bolt removed, the support may be lifted out of the ring. To remove the azimuth drive unit, Drive out the two dowel pins. Then using a small wrench to hold the nut under the motor, remove the four bolts holding the drive unit in place. Then lift out the unit. To remove the contour follower drive unit, first take off the nut and pinion gear from the spline shaft. Then remove the cover plate. And unscrew the crank retaining screw. This releases the crank from the spline sleeve. Drive out the two dowels. Then using a wrench for socket head screws, remove the three screws holding the unit in place. side support is released by removing the 14 bolts holding it to the ring. To remove the elevation drive unit, start by taking off the latch unit. A long thin screwdriver is used to remove the four screws. Now on the other side of the support, drive out the two dowel pins. With removal of the five bolts holding the drive unit to the support, the unit may be lifted away. Now, lift the ring from the stand. Remove the frame and chute assembly. To remove the interrupter from the frame, first disconnect the two interrupter drive cable couplings. Disconnect the AM connector for the bottle warmer conduit. Then, using a long, narrow screwdriver, remove the nine screws holding the interrupter in place. With removal of the interrupter, disassemble.
assembly of the turret is complete.